Engineer 775 in process of installing several pumps in as well. I'm picking up here. This is a already have one solar submersible in the well. And I'm going to put another arrangement here of solar submersible at the bottom of a simple pump. Just welded a fitting on the bottom of that simple pump cylinder. Added a check valve. So this is going to give me the ability to pump water out of this well with four different ways. So you might not need all these options, but at least it gives you some idea. So I'm going to go ahead and try to feed two sets of wires up through our box here. One's going to be for the solar sun rotor, and the other one's going to be for the Robeson system. Uh, again, solarwaterpumps.com. And uh, so, anyway, if you need help, um, one pump's going to be an AC pump, a three phase AC from converting from DC, and the other one is a DC pump direct, brushless. So, anyway, that's probably TMI, but. Uh, and then we'll be running over to the Sun Rotor controller. And I'm also going to put on here, which I just mounted, a transfer switch for a generator. So we will be able to put a little 110, like a little Honda generator in here. And then the solar will go here. And we'll have the ability to run this well pump off of a generator. Again, this is a long ways away from any power, it's a remote location. So this gives you, some, gives you another option, another cool option. And and eventually I would gas the, uh, <laughs> the Honda generator so that we can pump water with wood. That was That's actually the goal. That's really talking backups now. So, okay, got a lot, to, a lot of wires dangling and things to hook up, so just wanted to catch the first phase of this. So we're going to put this contraption in alongside of an existing solar submersible pump. All right, at the end of the day, this is what I this is what I'm looking for, water. So just have enough uh, window of opportunity. I've been working on this all day and this is again a solar pump and just got enough sun. It's like 4:30, going for 5, but man, is that good and tasty. Ah, nice and cold. So, yeah, this makes my job rewarding. It can be frustrating getting here. Always run into lots of bumps in the road, lots of snags, but you can't beat that. That is why I do what I do. Anyway, that'll keep a lot of people alive in a troubled time, in a crisis situation. Lots of good water. And again, in this project, let me just show you. I've uh, put two pumps, two pumps, two solar pumps in the well, and a hand pump. So I can hand pump this. I'm going to hand pump some water for you. Oh, imagine that. I can hand pump too. How far will the hand pump? Long ways. Woohoo! All right, so hand pump on this and I also put a solar pump on the bottom of the simple pump and so that right now gives us three ways to get water out of this well. Two solar pumps and uh, one manual pump. I'm going to turn on the other pump. We got all these pumps pumping. Got control boxes everywhere. Turn, turn that on and see what she does now. That's another solar pump running. These hoses are a little restricting, but you can see it's on solar at almost 5 o'clock in the evening. So that's not bad. I'm going to take this off of here and see what she does. You can kind of see the, see the water there. But no problem pumping it through. I'm pumping it through the mechanism of the simple pump. So really haven't had an issue with that. So that's both both pumps in line. Pretty good pressure. Alright, that's from a couple of 65 watt BP solar panels. And they're a couple hundred feet away. 
So that's working good. Water everywhere. Let me shut that one off. That one buzzes. You can hear that one pumping. But you can't hear the sun rotor pumping. And she's pumping good water. So, okay. Let me show you one more thing. I'm going to button up these wires so I know it looks sloppy right now, but... And I did also put an AC power pack on this. So what will happen is I can take a generator, any type of generator, put in 110 out and hook it up to this little transfer switch. And so I got generator coming in here, solar coming in here, and DC going out. So this is a 24 volt transformer. So on a rainy day, if I really needed more water, I could just bring the generator down here and pump pump water with it. So anyway, just a, another another option to to share with you. Oops. Late in the day. Sorry. Okay. So we're just getting behind the trees and running out of sun, but uh, finally got the system working. Two 235 watt uh, sharp panels pumping water like mad. And I also, you heard that buzzing little 24 volt pump. That's uh, running from the top two panels that are on that solar panel. And I've just got the line here. I got a lot of trenching to do. So what I'm going to do is uh, trench all this in. I just wanted to get it working. I know it works, it's working well. And now it's time to wrap it up. So, success. Everything looks good. Pump's running. So this is cool. I got, I'm, I'm not done yet. I will add one more. If you've seen the solar motor pump motors that go on here, I'm gonna actually take this handle off and bolt a, a, um, a motor onto the top of this, a gear motor, to actually pump water that way. That'll give me four pumps and five ways to get water out of the well. And the fifth one, of course, is the, the generator. I can hook a generator to the system and run the sun rotor submersible. So, is that enough options? Five options to get water out of this well. So, we won't be, shouldn't have a problem. You know, systems go down, and it's nice to be able to throw the switch on the other system. So, anyway, Engineer 775, signing off. Thanks for watching. Okay, I'm back with the uh, generator test. I've hooked up my generator to this AC power pack. Let's close that up. What I'm going to do is see this yellow cord just plugged into my old Coleman. She's still running. She spits and sputters, but she's still going good. And then you'll see how um, it turns on the solar controller. So. And we'll pump some water before I can't see what I'm doing and before I can't show you. So I'm going to turn the generator on. Okay. Generator's running. There's a switch on the bottom of this. I'm going to hit the switch. And the shoulder lights up. System's on. It's got a little timer. And then the... Uh, Second light should come on here shortly. There it goes. And that's the pump. The pump's now running. We're running off the generator, no solar. We're bypassing the solar. And it pumps on, and we just started pumping, pumping water. It's not pumping a lot of water, but it's pumping water nonetheless. There it goes, it's picking up a little bit. So, there you go. That's off of this little generator. So it's just a little 24 volt transfer switch. Shut that off. Turn this off. And uh, everything's powered down. Sorry for the my typical shaky video. So this gives you another option. You can get water out of the ground, out of the well with a generator on a solar pump. You're just going through a um, AC power pack. This is the smallest one. This is just a 24 volt power pack. And I only gotta take water from my static water level 
of 22 up about what do I got to go 70 feet just got to get lift water 70 feet so I don't have much of a lift so this power pack is adequate for what I need to do if I needed to pump a couple hundred gallons of water uh, for whatever reason uh, pipe broke or we just needed emergency water at night I could pull the generator down here any type of generator and uh, fire it up and pump water so there are ways to pump water with these systems when the sun is down so or it's been raining a long time so anyway I hope I covered it thoroughly enough and uh, I'm gonna just button some of these wires up and neaten it up a little bit got a lot of trenching to do this wa this pipe is just laid out here to uh, demonstrate that it does pump water but we're gonna we're gonna do some cool things um, with where this water is going so all right and I guess that's it any questions I do have a rewarding job